Hello, welcome to another Jenna Lee Show episode. I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Salee Clark. And, and we, we are, are Jenna Lee. Lee. <laughs> that's good. I think that's the best we've done. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, we are so excited. And today we want to share our top five tips that you might not know when you're creating a Microsoft Teams announcement. So we're going to jump right into Teams and we are going to show you some things that make uh, making and sending and creating announcements pretty awesome. So first we want to show you how to create an announcement. So underneath the post section in any of your channels, click at the bottom to start a conversation. Go ahead and click the letter A to enlarge your text box. And then at the very top where it says new conversation, click the down arrow and select announcement. And boom, now you have a huge headline ready for you to type in. It's like a secret hiding gem down in there. Love it. You can type in it and you can also customize it. You can change the background color or our favorite, you can select a background. I love backgrounds. Ah! <laughs> All right, Jenny, which one's your favorite? I love the classes. I like the, um, the math one, math one, or the, the art or the uh, music. I love the um, class ones. I know you like the fire breathing dragon. I do. I love I love the dragon and I also love the disco ball. So there's the dragon, or if you come down here, there's the disco ball. That's my fave. Ooh, I do. I like the uh, campfire too. That's kind of fun. All right. So um, those are some customization pieces you can do, but Jenny, what else can we do? Let's give them five tips. All right. Tip number one, you can actually post this to multiple channels. So up at the top, there is a place there where you can click and you can pick all of the channels that you want this to go to. And this is awesome because it also cross posts to different teams. So you can go through your teams and select all the channels that you want to receive this message. And then when you're done, just click update and then you will see all of those channels listed there. Tip number two, you can also mark it as important. So to do that, click on the three dots, the ellipsis. Click on mark as important and it's going to put a big red bar across it and even an exclamation point once you send it. All right, tip number three is that you can actually save your announcements. If you click the three little dots, the ellipsis, there is an option to save this message. So that's great because this area can get really filled up. And so you want to make sure that if it is an important um, message or post or announcement that you want to save, go ahead and save that. And then you can go up to your settings See the saved option there. When you click that, you'll see all of your saved messages. All right, tip number four. You can also copy the link to the post or email it. So if you click the three dots, you can click on copy link or share to Outlook. So if I want, I can click here. I can type in people I wanna share this with, or I can even put in a contact list or a group. It already has the contents right there in the post. So I'm gonna click send. And now Jenny's received an email from me reminding her to study for her math test tomorrow. Oh boy. <laughs> I will try to do that tonight. All right, tip number five, and this is so cool. Also behind those three little dots, you can click and you can create a poll or a quiz uh, using forms right there behind. Or actions. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use forms and we can go ahead and give it a question. So for this, we're gonna say, did you study? and make it simple, yes or no. And then it even gives you some suggested answers. So that's great. You can go ahead and hit next and it's going to that quiz right, or that poll right there in the body of the announcement. All right, so there you see our poll right there with our announcement. So your students can respond and you'll get real time feedback right away. So that's a great way to get quick assessment and see the progress using a poll or a form. All right, so we have shared five things that you might not have known are available in Microsoft Teams announcements. So hopefully those are helpful and check them out and let us know what you think. Bye. Bye.